Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to Agrarian Skies, our lovely little island paradise and what are you guys doing all the way up there? Get back here. Get, 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 get down here. Get, get, come on, get, get down. Stay down here. You stay down there. On the ground, you hear me? Because we have work to do today. Yes, we do, as always. Welcome back, as I said. We are going to do something a little bit different today. Um, we're not doing anything. Nah, it's a lie. We're doing lots of stuff today. And I was debating on what to do next. Uh, let me grab something to eat here. Lots of different choices. You can see I was sort of working with some applied energistics stuff. Well, let's have a cup of coffee. I was looking at some applied energistic things, and I really need to... Well, that didn't really help me at all. Ooh, jump boost, though. That's kind of fun. Fine crap sandwich. I, I really wasn't, like, finding anything, really, that I wanted to work on. I started expanding. Uh, let's pop downstairs really quickly. Uh, well, I should have to, to float down here. Now, I started cutting out some room for a machinery layer, uh, just in terms of putting our Mac somewhere, our molecular assembler chamber. Uh, I haven't really got around to building it yet. Uh, we should do that at some point. Let's take a look at our quest book. We're in pretty good standing, but the steering powered flight complete. We've got some options. Um, and I've already started on one thing, because we really should start tackling bees and trees. The addiction known as apiary and um, whatever whatever the tree version is called. Tree apiary? Arborist. Arborary. Arborist? Something like that. It's whatever the tree version of apiaries are. And uh, on that note, I've already made ourselves a squeezer here, which is squeezing up some seed oil, which actually, let's go grab some more seeds real quick. Actually, let's sleep first, and then we'll grab seeds. Just pop up here. So one of the things we we're going to be working on is getting some a, a nice little area set up for our bee and tree farm. Um, I do need quite a bit of dirt. So maybe the first thing we'll do after we're done grabbing some seeds is we'll grab one of these guys, and we're going to go down below and make ourselves an auto barrel or an auto uh, dirt farm. All right? We've got... Uh, it'll be similar stuff to what we've got over there. More or less. I mean, yeah. It should be relatively similar. Let me grab a whole bunch of these seeds. Three stacks? Yeah, three stacks. That'd be enough. Still no chickens. Oh, wait. Wait. Doth my nine deceive me? Do I see chickens? Do I see chickens? No, I see I see cats. I don't need, I don't need cats, man. I need chickens. A chicken. One chicken. I don't even need plural. One stinking chicken, man. I wish I'd gotten that spawn egg. Uh reward early in game. That'd be nice. Would have been very nice to have. I'm going to turn my jetpack off for now. We'll pop back into the floor here and... My game got really laggy for a second there. It looked like it did. I don't know what's going on with that today. So let's pop these guys in here. Now the squeezer does uh, pretty much what it says on the box. It takes seeds in your inventory and then squeezes them. Uh, it'll make seed oil. It'll also do several other things, I believe. Can we see the recipes? No recipes anywhere. No, no recipes. Uh, it does a bunch of different things. Uh, you can, of course, write it with pipes. It's powered right now by the RedNet Energy Cable, as you would expect. Um, really not much else to say that other than you need a squeezer in order to get started with bees on this pack. Because once we have a can of seed oil, we're going to need to make an artificial hive. Artificial hive. Scented. So this guy. Scented. Artificial. Uh, maybe just a regular one. So with this guy, we need a hay bale and a silk mesh, which we could probably do now. And then scented, I'm not quite sure how we make a scented one. There's got to be a way to do it, uh, and I'm sure the book will tell us. But for now, uh, I need a can. I'm going to make a can. Let's see if we can actually make this thing. Can. And begin. Oh, there's three pieces of tin like that. Oh, boy, that's easy. Let's make that. But I was making some uh, applied energistic stuff in preparation for today. But really, I need to do a lot of uh, bulk. I already had that. Oh, all right, whatever. Uh, there's a lot of bulk work that needs to get done. That's I need to plan routing and uh, that kind of... Ooh, make 12 of them. That's handy. Cans are kind of like buckets. They just stack and they're easier to work with. Bam, one, four, one seed oil canister. Well, let's actually go upstairs then. Let's actually see if we can complete this intro to bees and threes. Uh, let the addiction start. 
Because it really is very addicting to work with the bees. I haven't used bees since, oh, the ultimate days. Or right there. Hey, hey, what's wrong with you? You're missing stuff. That's not right. Well, I'll fix you real good here. There we go. Um, bees, the last time I did bees in any conceivable large scale was definitely the ultimate pack uh, for 1.4.7. Uh, everything started changing in, I believe, 1.5? Yeah, I want to say 1.5. And it wasn't so much, like, I say changing, but what I really mean is, like, it, it, it improvements. Um, there was new types of bee added. There's magical bees. There's ender bees. There's, oh, God, there's everything. Uh, you can effectively make any resource in the game using bees and just bees. Grab all this stuff. Uh, as frightening and terrifying as that seems, it is a possibility. Um, if anybody's seen Direwolf 20's, uh, season six, yeah, season six, you'll know that, uh, to end his end game base was effectively powered off of bees. Uh, it, there was a bee making, I believe there was a couple of bees making redstone, another one making diamonds, and then they made another process. I don't know what it was, but I know he pretty much was powering his base using nothing but bees, which is a really cool thing. And I believe generic bee and bee dubs in... The Minecraft Crack Pack first season. Or maybe that was Minecraft FTP. My god, that was a long time ago. I don't even remember anymore, man. Uh, let's dump some of this stuff in here that we don't need. Uh, it was a very long time ago. But it was really, really interesting to watch a lot of the stuff they were doing with bees. Like, after a while, they weren't mining. They were just literally having their bees make all of their emeralds and diamonds and stuff. Which is really, really cool. And something that I would, wouldn't mind doing, but... Probably not on this pack. I'm probably going to stick to just what we need for the bees because they can get very, very time consuming. I, I could spend like months working with bees, probably. Uh, it's all about mutations and permutations of the bees. and Oh, God, it's already starting in my brain. <laughs> It'll be fun, though. It's a very interesting process, the way you breed bees. Uh, it's definitely not for the faint of heart, though. I'll warn you now. All right, let's make ourselves a hay bale, which I believe is a 9x9. Nine nine. Yes. We'll make a single hay bale. All right, all right let's make a bunch, because we're probably going to need a bunch of these artificial hives. Like that. We'll go like that. And that last bit right there makes bread. Groovy, groovy. All right, let's go and see about making... How do we make a mesh screen again? I want to say I need... So I need string. Oh, we already have one. Oh, no, those are crucibles. I require that. Get back here. I need you. Yeah. We'll make the one for now, and then we'll, we'll just toss these in here for now. We'll make one and see how that does us. Artificial hive. Thank you kindly. Let's put the extras that we don't need away. Alrighty. Now, once I make Applied Energistics, I'm not going to be hurrying to get rid of those, actually. Uh, I quite like this setup. I mean, it's really analog, and I don't... I mean, I know in Feed the Beast, I actually don't do any analog storage, or very little. Like, I have a row of chests, and that's about it. I almost miss the old days of having lots of chests and barrels and stuff everywhere. Uh, digital storage is nice. Don't get me wrong. I freaking love digital storage. But this is just, I don't know, rustic. It's an acquired taste. I think I'm fine wine. Or something. Oh, let's put that steel away. We don't need you either. Don't need you. There's no room in that chest. We're going to have to do something about that very shortly. So let's open up our quest log here. Da ding Bees and trees. Oh, baby. So, artificial hive, one of those guys. Ooh, oh, God. Gives us five forest hives and five meadow hives. Ah, that's awesome. And we'll get a reward bag. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by his toe. And if you always let him go, right bag. Do, 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 do. Claim reward. Amazing. Actually, hold on me. I was missing my sound. Ah, there we go. This whole time, this whole time, I'm sitting here and I'm like, why, why can't I hear the sounds of things going? Because my sound cord was unplugged. 
That's very disconcerting. All right, let's see here with our quest book and see what we have now. Luring the bees. Using Fluidox, move the seed oil from the squeezer to an next nylon barrel. Oh dear. Right click the barrel of seed oil with an artificial hive to obtain a scented hive. Of course, scented hives will lure bees to them depending on where they are placed. Of course, meadows bees will come if there are flowers. Ooh, I don't, do we have any flowers? Um, flowers in a, meadows bees will come in the plant. Okay, so yeah, yeah, forest bees, forest plants and have lots of leaves, of course. Uh, all the hives bees have special things they want before they're willing to move in. Hey, sorry about that, guys. I thought I had muted my phone. My bad. Entirely unprofessional. Stupid phone. Ruining my recording. Uh, as I was saying, anyway, there's a lot of, there's different, um, there's a lot of things that bees will want for them to move in. If it takes too long for bees to move in, the hive will need to be dipped in seed oil again. Of course. For this, we need a scoop and artificial hive. And of course, it gives us uh, modest meadows, meadows, and modest princess. So modest and meadows, that, that's all very good. We've got some more bees upstairs, and then we'll get on to doing that thing. Oh, God, so many things with the bees. Because um, I don't know what to do with you. Let's put you in the no idea chest. Donk, 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 donk. And we'll put uh, the extra stuff that we have there in there as well. Okay, actually, let's grab that guy and that guy. Oh, I want you. Okay. And let's actually quickly open our reward bag before I forget. Please be good. Do we get uh, natural gas? We keep getting this natural gas, and I have no idea what it's for. I really hope it's actually something useful and not just a troll reward because... That would be upsetting. We already have another stack of it. Like, really? Really? Do I need this much natural gas? Probably not. Uh, can I sleep? I can sleep. So let's see if we can't make ourselves a scented artificial hive and a scoop. So let's make the scoop first. Uh, I wasn't going to work on the beast thing, but let's work on the beast thing. Sooner rather than later. Scoop of gear. What are you? Oh, it's part of the gen, gen industry. And of course, thomium scoop, which we'll need to learn how to do. How do I use you? Oh my god, power module. And this, oh my. Okay, so we need a block of wool surrounded by sticks. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy, man. Give me something hard to do. Uh, I may have spoke too soon. Where the heck is all my wool? Ah, wool. Come here, you. Give me. Open this guy up, and then we'll make our little frame. In one scoop. Now, for those of you that have no idea, scoops are used to break open hives and get bees. Let's grab our artificial hive and that guy, and why not? That guy right there. And we're going to empty this guy right here. Let's put the can of seed oil and an artificial hive. Gives us one scented hive. And this is going to go to waste because I actually don't have a space for the bees right now. Because I actually want to make a kind of nice little artificial park biome thingy. And go there. But let's lure our bees. We'll pick. We'll pick. We'll keep going with right. Because one day the right one will be the right answer. Because damn it, I'm right. I know that was terrible. Uh, apiary. Oh, God. <coughs> the first step towards breeding massive army of bees. Because, of course, we need a massive army. <clears throat> uh, you'll need to breed at first you will need to breed any two different hive bees such as forest and meadows until you get a common princess and a common drone uh, let's see what else do we need here uh, let's see such as forest meadows so present get common drone breed these together a few times to get some Sarah drones then breed the common drones to hive bees until they get a cultivated princess and drone if you're willing to spend a lot of power industry can bypass the random champs Build a mutagen suppressor and supply it with uh, with power and redstone. Place a matron what is this? Matron next to it? Mutron and supply it with power. Placing a princess in a drone of the mutron will give you a hundred percent chance to get a pure mutation at the cost of power and liquid mutagen. Oh, that's really cool. Ooh, that's actually really cool. So yes, you can get a jaded bee. I mean the mutatron also ignores biomes so yes, you can get a jaded bee. 
Oh, that is so cool. Neat. Okay, so we'll have to build an apiary at some point, and that gives us tropical and marshy hives. Oh, God. And a bunch of other stuff to do. So genistry is something that we can look into. Actually, I thought we were really neat to do genistry. Well, let's eat this full heart. Uh, you're a bee thing, so I'm going to put you... Because look, let's look at the bees you already have. Uh, we already have a steadfast and a... Said, well, do steadfast then. We have some we have some lapidiatry stuff, so we do have some butterflies. Some beautiful butterflies. So they'll come in usefulness at some point, I'm sure. But for now, let's put this guy away and focus on the next thing I wanted to work on today, which is actually going to be some magical stuff. Once I open this guy up, I'll we'll put you in we'll put you in Kenny Loggins. Because you're dangerous. You're addicting. I kind of want to see what's in this this single net use safari net. I'm a little I'm a little concerned. Let's actually open this guy finally because I forgot we had him. Please be something good. It's a witch. Oh no! Oh no! Kill it dead. Well, that did nothing. Thanks for nothing, game. Shoot. Oh well. All right, let's open this reward bag. Ooh, that's cool. Not useful, but cool. So we get a whole bunch of music stuff. That's, like I said, that's neat, but not really helpful. I guess thanks for providing me with some music game. I don't know, I need those. Okay, so let's go and do something else then. Uh, we'll put them in here for now. I really have so much stuff. Now, the magical thing that I really want to touch on is kind of fun. It is, in fact, we'll grab those two. Uh, part of blood magic. Now, if we go to blood magic really quickly. Blood magic. So there's a bunch of different things. Uh, the bound bleed... Oh, uh, no. Dagger of Sacrifice. That's what we want. But for that, we're going to need an inverse. We're going to need the Apprentice Blood Orb, which we don't have. How do I make a Magician's Apprentice? Tier 2, 5,000. Uh, how do I make you there? Tier 3. Let's make a Magician's Blood Orb. Okay, so we should be able to make the Apprentices. We need a Tier 2, though. So let's grab our magic stuff and see what our... A divination sigil, like a sacrificial orb, and a weakened blood orb. Jump back enabled. Let's fly up here. Now the question becomes, what is our guy at? Tier one. Okay, so we're gonna need to build some stuff to make this guy a tier two. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna quickly go and find out what we require in order to make it a tier two, and then we will do exactly that. So I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, we are back and uh, I've been working a little bit with our blood magic stuff. We now have eight blank slates, which we're going to be promptly using to make uh, a bunch of blood runes. So let's go ahead and toss our weak blood orb in here, which currently has, oh, what did I say that had on me? 3,800 life points. So we're going to put that guy in here and we're going to go, well, let's see. Um, I want to know if that actually works if I try and fill it. Yeah. It does. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. Now, let's look at our blood rune. Now, these are, of course, the basic runes. I don't think they cost us anything per se, but we're going to find out. Because we do need four of these bad boys. Um, let's go grab some more smooth stone. Like that. I love having that guy there. That doesn't really matter there. Okay. We put that guy in the middle. And then we go like that. And we're good. Four blood runes. Great. That's what we needed. And now if I grab this guy, does this use blood runes? Nope. So we've got 4,000. Beautiful. So we've got these four. Now let's go and actually place them where they belong. Maybe our jetpack really quickly. Um, you'll, re you'll see here that I've raised this stuff up a little bit. And that's because, um, apparently I'm psychic. This island is exactly the right size for a max tier blood altar to be built. Uh, it is going to be 23 by 23 by 9, 
which means this tier is actually go this uh the altar itself is going to be um like up there somewhere and then like this will connect to the edge of the platform will go up and we're going to have some other chambers to the side but this platform is going to need to expand now to make a proper tier two we just go like this and we should be good tier two perfect this is the tier two now tier three is going to actually go uh, one out and one down so it'll be here around and then these glowstone will actually will have more glowstone on pillars and those are actually a required element but we can now see we have a tier two with the capacity still up 10,000 but it's a tier two which means we should be able to make ourselves a new blood orb and let's grab this guy here and we're going to quickly fill him up oh let's grab our division sigil 4600 so let's uh, eat some food we'll sleep this night away and then we will see if we can't fill this guy up um, the one of the things we, I, I consider doing uh, that I'm going to be doing uh, is briefly divert our flow of monsters over there and then we'll grab a dagger of sacrifice and we'll just beat the heck out of the monsters with that guy and let that fill up our, uh, our, t our altar for us. The other way of doing it was uh, in the first versions of this mod pack, you could make spawn eggs really easily. I think I mentioned that before. It's very, very easy to make spawn eggs. And then you would just put like a whole bunch of chickens on top of the altar and then just cut them up and you were good. So we're currently at 4,600. Let's make this guy... What's that? Is that 5,000? That's 5,000. So now if I were to take our orb, and I don't know, what do we need? Let's open our quest book. So you're a wizard, Steve. Now there's the alchemical stuff, which we haven't worked on yet, but we should at some point. And then uh, altar upgrades. Uh, weak. So magician's blood orb. The weak blood orb is not going to hold enough power to cast or craft more complex rituals or spells. You will need to create a better blood orb by upgrading your altar to store more life energy and crafting better orbs through a gold... Ah, so a 30k life power. So we're not going to be there yet. We only own, we only, can only hold 10. This will give us ritual stone and blood runes, which... How do I make ritual stone? Let's see. Do you see ritual stone somewhere? Ritual stone. Oh, wow. Jeez, that takes quite a bit. Reinforced slates and a bunch of other stuff. How do you make those? Of course, a slate in that guy, obviously. So that guy's going to be kind of critical to do. Um, I'm not sure what they'll be built out of, but the blood rooms, the regular blood rooms are one thing. We can put these with speed um, and a bunch of other stuff, but let's make ourselves an apprenticed blood orb. We will need apprentice. We just, we just put a... Is that it? Is that, is that all we need? We just need uh, an emerald. Well, let's go grab an emerald and see what happens. You don't belong there. What are you doing? Stupid graphic error. Okay, let's go and see about this guy. We should have more than enough. Error. Oh, yeah. This is not crash landing. We actually don't have a deficit of the items we require. In fact, I still have that system turned off because I really want to figure out how to wire that up with applied energistics to make it much easier. But I'm having difficulty. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. But there we go. So that guy will work, and he'll make our our second tier blood orb, which is good because we need at least that tier in order to make the various different items that we're going to want. Uh, let's see. We're also going to want to make some speed runes at some point, more than likely. The efficiency rune is really kind of key as well, and that actually is not too terrible to make. Oh, no, we can't make efficiency runes. Never mind. Unless, no, we can't make efficiency we can make Salk Sacrifice and this guy, though. This guy's going to require Flux Electrum and Reinforced Slates. But these guys are the Rune of Sacrifice, and that's these guys here. And they're very, very good because they everything you sacrifice with them, uh, it adds more and more to the altar. Right right now, I think we're getting a 30% bonus. Ah, there it is. One Apprentice Blood Orb. Ta-da! Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Now, the Sacrifice, the Sacrificial Orb is what we've been using. That guy's empty. Uh, we're going to need to make a tier 3 altar at some point, but that's not what we're doing today. We won't worry about that today. Because I do need to, to get some capacity, and I think augmented capacity is where? There it is. Yeah, so we needed our... Ooh, we need... Oh, really? Oh, you stink. 
So we're going to have to do that uh, thing. Hmm. Let me think about this. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys, we're back. So I think we're going to shelve that project for today. I think we'll work more on that next time because I really would like to get some more blood magic things going on. It's a very cool mod, um, and I'm just going to continue to ignore Thumbcraft for now because Thumbcraft is hard. Uh, I made another barrel here for a very good reason because we're going to actually make that dirt farm because we are going to need the dirt farm for some other stuff, uh, particularly for our bee and tree farm. So let's go ahead and see if we can't make this guy work. The first thing that we're going to need to do is actually... Hmm, how do I want to set this guy up, actually? Let's actually set him up, like, like right here. We're going to expand our platform a little uh, before we finish off here. And we'll just use that guy. So the idea is going to be, uh, it's very similar to our other farm that we have. Well, farm, our automated, our automated system over there. It's going to input zombie flesh into this guy through way of a uh, autonomous activator, I think is the best way to do this. Maybe leave. All right, so let's make ourselves an autonomous activator. Machine frame we have there. Let's make ourselves an autonomous activator. Uh, that guy, we need two, 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 perfect. Wait, 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 wait. need piston. I think I have all the stuff to actually make this. Yes. Yes. In bar is upstairs, I believe. To in bar. And I think that's everything. It is. I didn't even need the machine frame. Beautiful. Okay, so that guy's going to go there, and then I'll just make a hopper after. But as a proof of concept, we're just going to toss this guy down right here, and then we'll angle him where we want him. Uh, you're going to be difficult, aren't you? There we go. Okay, so he's down where I want him. Uh, orange is in right, I think. Okay, so he's like that. Let's go and grab. Actually, we'll put our machine frame away. We won't need him. And we'll grab the other servo. And I need both of those guys. That should be enough. Shoot, no, it wasn't enough. We'll need more. Derp. I derped. Just grab the whole damn thing. Okay. Uh, and then, like that. And before we finish off, just to make sure, we will put one of those in here. that whitelist you and then we will connect them and then in theory this ought to work okay let's see yeah let's see no. so whitelist no not that um, Seems to still be going over there. Let's try the blue side then. Hmm. Okay, where is our flesh barrel on top? Let's actually disconnect him for now. See what happens. Now, I think I'm doing this correctly. I'm probably not. As is usual, I'm probably screwing this up. Place that left. And then it goes in this guy. Oh, it is. Is it working? Oh, it is. Beautiful. Excellent. That's what I like to see. And then that's going to compost. Composting. And then let's see what happens. 
Hopefully this actually works. Then we're just going to put a uh, barrel and a other one. What do you call them? Vacuum hopper above it. Vacuum hopper, barrel, call it a day. Now hopefully this actually works. Now we should see, yep, zombie flesh is building up in there. That's what we want to see. Now the question will be if it actually releases. Now it should actually release. And this is going to be the end of today's episode, by the way. The dirt farm. I know. Spectacular, isn't it? We love our dirt. Dirt is good. Dirt is great. Dirt is glorious. Dirt will mean we can actually build a tree farm and uh, bee farm. Now the tree farm is going to be the really interesting part. Oh, look at that. It's already going. Excellent. That's wonderful. That's exactly what I want to see. And then any extras we can, like if it's getting really bad, we'll just turn this guy on or something. But that's going to be the end of today's episode. The dirt farm is there. I'll, uh, I'll actually finish this guy off uh, in a little bit. I'll make sure he works and does what he's supposed to do off camera and uh, all that fun jazz. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys lucked, if you guys lucked, liked the episode, please leave me a like. It helps me out tremendously when you do that. It lets me know you're enjoying the series. If you have any suggestions for the blood altar the way you'd like to see it designed, please let me know. I'm bad at designing things. You guys should know that now. I'm getting better. I am improving, but still. If you've got a fancy way of dressing up our blood altar, uh, please let me know because I'd like to know. Other than that, if you have any uh, other suggestions for maybe how to wire things up or do something, again, drop me a line in the comments. I would very much like to know what you guys think about this. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.